Hey everybody, Lev Farmer Serving 3 here. Today, I'm gonna to be moving all of my fruit trees from Easley Island to Freedom Acres. This is my Granny Smith apple tree. Now, as you can see, it's loaded full of apples and fruit. But, I gotta be honest, when we do this, you wanna remove all of the fruit off of your fruit trees because it will not survive. So we're gonna do that right now. And here's the other thing. When we cut this root structure, what's gonna happen is all of the energy from the root structure will not be able to finish producing these fruit. If it will, it won't be properly. That's not what I want to happen. What I want to happen is all the energy get focused into the root system and the survival of the canopy of the tree. I don't care about the fruit this year. So we gotta get rid of that right now, like this. I'm getting rid of just the fruit, not the fruiting buds. So as you can see, got a bunch of apples that we cannot use. So we're gonna just let that go, okay? Give these to the chickens or something. Now I'm gonna cut off several branches so the smaller root structure will be able to handle it. Don't need that no more. Just like that. Now this is what we're left with. Chopped it all the way down, and this is what we're gonna be putting in the bucket. So now let's just dig it up. Just like that. Now this is what I'm left with. A nice root structure. Got rid of a little bit of the soil. So what I'm gonna do is jam this down in this five gallon pot. If this was going to be permanent or for a long period of time, I would put this in a much larger pot. But this is temporary. I'm only just doing this until a couple of days so I can get it moved and get it planted back in the ground. So this is, uh, this is how I'm gonna shove this in here. Check it out. Remember, this is just temporary. So I got soil in the bottom of the bucket. I'm just gonna stand that up. And put more soil around it, the soil in the bottom. Now I'm just gonna fill in those gaps with soil. This is so the roots don't dry out until I can get it in the ground. I've done this so many times over the years and it works like you wouldn't believe. I'm popping the bucket so the soil can get down in between some of those roots. Remember, this is just temporary. I would never bring my soil up this high, but I'm just making sure and ensuring that the roots don't dry out. Now I'm gonna water this in really hard and get all the air pockets out of there. I'm gonna let that go down and drain through the soil and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna hit it again. I'm gonna hit it a few times. And there you have it. Two trees are gone and now here they are. 
ready to go to the land. So it's that simple. Now remember, if you have a bigger tree, bigger root structure, you're gonna need a bigger container, and sometimes you're just gonna need a lot of plastic or burlap. So it's as simple as this to move your trees around your land or move it from one space or one house to another house. All right, I hope this helped you guys. I got a lot of trees to do still, so I better get busy because it's been raining for a while. Left Farmer 73, I love you, and I'm out.